member of the mint family. It's got perfectly square stems. It's very easy, easily distinguishable. And it has these scalloped edges on the leaves. Beautiful, beautiful. It's got these little, this is about the extent of its flowering. These little white flowers here, these tiny little petals. And there's been a number of bees around here pollinating off these. Just a perfect time to catch it. You can see last year's stalk uh, stems appearing above it. And it's got these real prickly little old dry seed heads here. It's, uh, this is probably one of the most famous cough and lung remedies ever used. It's been used for centuries and uh, for good reason. The Commission E, which is a body of experts in Germany, advises the, the German government about herbs, endorsed this for uh, all bronchial ailments, including laryngitis. And uh, it contains vitamin A, B complex, C, E, and F, and also the minerals, iron, potassium, and sulfur, amongst other properties. It has been used as a digestive bitter, so it's good for indigestion and to help increase appetite. It's uh, when taken as a, cold, as a cold infusion or as a cold tea, it, it is a good tonic for the stomach because of its bitter qualities. And uh, as a hot tea, it promotes sweating. It has diaphoretic uh, properties. And so it was commonly used for fevers historically. And uh, it's also been used topically, the juice squeezed out or, or made into ointments, and it was used for herpes complex, shingles, and, ex and eczema. But just, we're really fortunate to find this really beautiful. There's, there's a number of whorehound around this area here, but this was most famous for, for the whorehound candy. And one of the reasons why you might just be acquainted with it as a candy is because it is so bitter.